Getting to work on time can be difficult, especially when you have a long commute with traffic, road construction, and other nuisances on your way. So sometimes we might be tempted to call in sick rather than brave that commute. So what I decided to do was create a Python script that queries the Google Maps platform, and when there's too much traffic on my route to work, it'll automatically email my boss that I'm not feeling well. I hope he's not gonna watch this video. So what is the Google Maps platform? It's a set of APIs that you can incorporate into your applications and projects to retrieve data from Google Maps. This is useful if you want to display maps, get information about places, or get route data like travel times. It's actually really easy to get started and some of the most used apps that you probably use like Lyft and Snapchat use Google Maps in their tech stack. For this project, we import the request module to pull information from the Google Maps API via an HTTPS request. We also import the SMTP lib module, which allows us to create an SMTP session to securely send an email. To connect to the Google Maps platform, we need an API key. This key is a unique string of characters that allows us to securely connect to the Google Maps API platform. If you aren't familiar with API keys or how they work, I highly recommend reading more about them on the Google Cloud website before getting started. I'll leave a link to this page in the description below. To keep my API key private, I have it stored in a file called apikey.txt. Let's open the file, read the first line into a variable called API key, and then close the file. In this project, we'll be using Google's Distance Matrix API. The Distance Matrix API is a service that provides travel distance and time for a matrix of origins and destinations, and that's based on the recommended route. The start point will be our home address, and the end point will be our work address. We gather both from the user with the built-in input function. Let's ask the user to enter home address and store the result in a variable called home. We'll also ask the user to enter a work address and store that result in a variable called work. Now, let's build a base URL for our HTTPS request. Google uses a particular URL format for accessing their Distance Matrix API. Let's copy and paste a portion of this URL and append what we need later on. Using the request module, we make a GET request. We pass in the URL string concatenated with our origins, destinations, and the API key. This returns a response object, which we store in a variable called R. Now we're connected to Google's API. The response object can be formatted as a JSON dictionary containing inner lists and dictionaries. Let's call the JSON method to return this dictionary. We search within this nested JSON structure using list and dictionary indexing to extract the duration of our commute. This is available in two formats, either as an integer representing the number of seconds or in a plain language format where hours and minutes are broken out separately. The seconds format is best for our speed test, but we'll use the plain language version in a print statement to inform the user of the commute time. To check our progress, let's run what we have so far. Enter a home address and a work address. Great, and that looks like it works. And before we build the rest of the code to send an email to my boss, I wanna take a minute to talk about Kite, the AI-powered autocomplete that we're using in this video. Kite is a free plugin for your code editor that uses machine learning to save you keystrokes while you're programming. So if you're using Atom, VS Code, Spider, PyCharm, Sublime, or Vim, Kite will seamlessly integrate into your coding workflow. Kite can complete entire lines of code, and it has a feature called Intelligent Snippets that will help you fill in arguments and method calls with variables defined earlier in your script. The window on the right side of my screen here is also a Kite feature called the Kite Copilot. It automatically shows you relevant Python documentation while you type based on your cursor location. This saves you time from having to Google search for docs. The best part of Kite is that it's free, and you can download it from the link in the description below. Now that we know the duration between our home and work address, we can start to write the code that'll email our boss when our commute is too long. Let's check whether the travel time is more than one hour or 3,600 seconds. 
If it is, we want an email to be automatically sent to our boss that says we can't make it to work today. To send the email, we need a sender email address, a recipient email address, a subject line, and a message. We format the subject line and message into a single string using a specific string formatting syntax. We also need a password for the sender's email. Like the API key, I have mine written in a separate text file to keep it private. So I'm going to open this file, read it to the first line, and into a variable called password, and then close it. Now let's create an SMTP client session with the SMTP lib module we imported earlier. We call smtplib.smtp and pass in the string smtp.gmail.com and the port number 587 to connect to Gmail. If you're using a different email service, you may need to pass in a different string and port number here, and we store the result session in a variable called s. To be more secure, let's call the start TLS method to invoke transport layer security, or TLS, for our session. TLS is a security protocol that encrypts sensitive information about our communications, such as our login credentials and private emails. Then we call the login method to log into the sender email address. Pass in the sender email address and password. You may need to relax the security protocols of your email account so that it can be used in this way. We use the send mail method and pass in the sender email address, recipient email address, and the email itself. Finally, we terminate the current session and print a message that the email was sent successfully. Great, now let's run our program by entering the addresses of our home and work. And it looks like that worked. Let's check our sender sent box just to be sure. All right, and there we go. We successfully sent an excuse to our boss. I hope you learned a lot about APIs and automation in this tutorial today. You can use what we covered to build your own project with the Google Maps API and even automate your emails. And if you do, please do share it in the comments below. We'd love to see it. As always, there's a link to the GitHub folder in the description below with the code from today's project. And finally, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. We'll have more content coming your way. And check out the Kite AI Autocomplete plugin. The link's in the description below.